Okay, so I can see the bollard. Now I am going to tie the boat up and I'm going to go and check out the lock because I think, if I'm right, the lock will be ready for me to go into. I'll just open the gate and I'll come back and drive the boat in. Well, first things first, tie the boat. So I'm currently approaching Bridge 23, but more importantly, the lock, Marbury Lock. So very quiet, lock is empty. Down there, down there. Boat's, oh shit, the boat's come loose. No, it's not. God, oh. Fuck, you know. God, shit myself. Oh, absolute nightmare. Having to go wading in a, a really cold canal would not be fun. Let me just check. The rope was I'm gonna tighten up the rope because of its kind of greyish nondescript colour the rope wasn't visible against the background and uh, yeah Whew. I thought it was loose and the boat was drifting god that was a fright. Fastest I've moved in about two years. I thought there might just be time to jump on the boat before it's too far from the bank. Because uh, once it's off a drift, you're waiting for it. I mean, do you know what? I know that boat's coming at some point. So actually, I could have just waited for them and said, can you just nudge my boat over? They would have helped. Right, I'm going to have to shut up. There's people talking. So, yeah. Okay. Hiya. So, Marbury Lock. Uh, job number one, get the lock gates open. Uh, okay. Now, that is not fully closed, sorry, open. So, I've got to step across and I'm gonna push it close with my foot. There we go. Go on, Ernie. Sorry? I said I would have done that for you. Oh no, it's okay. I don't want it to put you to any trouble. <laughs> I'm used to it now. There we go. That was embarrassing. So, I'm talking to a camera that probably isn't even on. Talking to a camera that's not even on. And that woman approaches, I didn't know where she came from. Well, she very kindly offered to help, or said I would have helped. Except I didn't know she was there. She was probably within plain sight. And I was too busy looking at the lock hardware to spot her. But anyway, she would have helped if things had been different somehow. 
Do I sound bitter? Anyway, I'm just joking around. She was a perfectly polite lady. So, untie the boat. Thankfully, she will have initially thought that I was a bit insane talking to myself, but she will have seen the chest camera. People give it the briefest of glances, but I'm sure they know what it is. And she will have thought that's why he was talking to himself. Kind of my get out of jail, get out of the lunatic asylum free card. So start the engine. Okay, so I've been up, I've opened the gates. The lock was in my favour, didn't have to empty it, so that's great. It was at the low level. And now just drive the boat in, and, and it'll be the same deal for the other three. Uh, with a bit of luck, you know, you never really know, because someone could be moored somewhere up ahead and could move in my direction, you know, and beat me to it. So, you know, anyway. There's only four of them, they're single locks. If they're big double-sized locks, it's more of a, a pain. They take longer to fill, the gates are twice as wide, it's all, yeah, just single-handed, it's a bit of a faffer, and, you know. Anyway, um, I have no idea it wasn't working. I don't, I don't know what was going on. So anyway, I'm gonna go in the lock, and the drill is, uh, I'm gonna get the boat in, and then I'm going to have to climb up a ladder to get out onto the bank to work the paddles and get the water moving. And because I'm talking, I'm now going too fast, really. I've not bumped it, so that's good. Done a, a really, that was really well done, actually, to be fair. That was pretty good for me. Um, coming in at an angle, I didn't uh, hardly touch it at all. So I'm coming into the lock, and what I've got to do, is I've got to secure this boat. Now the lock ladder is on this side, on my right. So I've got to get clear of these gates. I've got to get clear of the gates, which I am now. So now slow the boat down. There's the ladder. So I've got to go up with the rope and with the windlass, which I keep in my belt. There we go. So the boat's now still. I'm going to grab the rope, centre line on this side. I'm going to close those doors and fill the lock. I'm not going to open the gate fully because I'm going to cross. So what I'm doing, I'm just lowering the paddle down here. There we go, paddle's down, the catch across. I've left this gate ajar so the water stays level. It doesn't, you know, start to sink down again inside the lock. So...
The idea is, yeah, the idea is now to close the gate, uh, open the gate, get the boat out, and then come back and close the gate. Paddles are all down. Paddles are all down, so always double check. You can see the little metal rods with the tooth teeth on them are both down, so you can tell at a glance. So, open the gate. There we go. Get the boat out. Park it over there, and then come back and shut this gate. Or, maybe just pull the boat out and shut the gate. People do this as well. So let's see how this goes. <coughs> Pull the boat out manually, or at least give it a little burst of engine. Give it a little burst to keep it, to get it moving forwards. So, pulling the boat out, could perhaps have given it a little bit more throttle there, just enough to sort of get it moving without too much muscle being needed. And uh, the idea now is to kind of keep the boat close by but close the gate while it's here. So it saves me going all the way over there, tying the boat up and all that. If I can just sort of keep the boat here, so as long as this rope stays on the bank, I will always be able to grab the boat and pull it in. So that's what I'm trying to do. I want to get that gate shut just while the boat's hanging about here. So get the boat through. As soon as the boat's through, just leave the rope hanging about on the floor. But make sure the boat's not moving too fast, because if it is, what will happen then is it'll take off. So that's why I didn't give it too much engine, too much throttle. So, there we go. So, boat's just coming through. no sign of my pursuers so basically the idea here just grab the boat stop the boat and bring it into the the shore keep this rope on the shore so just enough no I need to get it more out that was a mistake at the moment the boat is just blocking the boat is just blocking the boat is stuck on something. <clears throat> okay, I need to get on the boat and unstick it. It's gotten itself stuck. The way to get yourself unstuck is to rock the boat, basically. Oh. All right, I'll tell you what. Can I shut the gate? I don't think I can but I'm going to try and then worry about freeing up the boat right, no right, this is odd I've gotten the boat stuck against this bank so what I'll do is I'll give it a push <laughs> I'm going to rock the boat and hopefully that will free it. 
Now I'm going to try some throttle. It's not working. Okay. Next line of attack. Push the bow of the boat out. Well, that was unfortunate. It might be that there's a shelf down here, but it's just gotten itself. Yeah. It feels like. Do you know what it might be? The boat feels like it's stuck on a shelf down here, and I think it's the flow of water in through that little drain that's pinning the boat on this side, and I cannot budge it for the life of me. So, there we go, that's got it. That's got it. The only thing that could help is it. The only alternative, if I can't shift it, will be to take it back in the lock and drive it out in a way that I keep clear of this bank. So. So, I'm gonna open the gate. I can't even, I'm sorry. Open the gate. So if I can't get this boat free, I'm gonna have to go back in the lock, if I can get back in the lock. So try reverse. Bank is really slippy. That's not helping. <coughs> I'm rocking the boat. Ugh. I can't go too crazy because the floor is really slippery. But basically, I'm trying to get the boat back into the lock. I'm going to leave the throttle on. I'm going to go forwards and I'm going to now push the bow and see if I can force it to go back. If the, the extra help of the, uh, the throttle will suck the boat back into the lock. This is... Uh, well, I wasn't expecting this. But I can't, the, the ground's slippy, I can't get any purchase. Uh, oh, get the boat moving. Okay, plan, plan C are we on now? Plan C, forward, forward gear with some revs. Because that is stronger. Forward gear. forward gear give it some revs now what should happen now is I should be able to use that extra forward thrust to get the boat moving if I can just Get it off of this bank. There we go. I've got it moving. Brilliant. So plan C. Plan C's worked. Well, I've, I've moved a foot or two. Basically, I'm trying to sort of keep the boat off this bank. Uh, and away from this drain, which keeps sucking it in. Right, so, what happened there? <laughs> Hi guys! To be honest, I wouldn't mind a little push off. The uh, drain is really powerful there. 
And uh, with the, watch the ground though, it's quite slippery so you can't get a good purchase on it. Yeah. It might get stronger now, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I mean, if all else fails, I'll, I'll try and get back into the lock and come straight out. But I tried to come out slowly and it just sucked me against the bank. So basically, I think my plan is to get some forward thrust on it and then that should help me to just get moving, I think. So I'll come and join you chaps. See if between us we can get it moving. I think the bow's got to be the place, hasn't it? Right. I got it moving. I did get it moving a bit, so we should be okay. So if I... Okay. Yeah, there we go. It's... <laughs> and... Is this because of the heavy rain? And we've got a stream. I think I'm, once we're three. Oh, sorry, sir. Are you just going forwards as well, are you? Yeah. yeah. You know, I think the main thing is to get it away, and the boat will take us forwards. I wondered whether or not when we got past this. We should be okay. It's going that way. So well, in other words, this is pushing it in because it's coming around here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think, I think, once we're moving, I think we're going to be good. I think it's just getting it away from this bank. So I'm not pushing forward, I'm pushing out more. Ugh. There we go, I think. No, that's it, the propeller's got it now. Right, I'm going to go and jump on and just uh, make sure it doesn't take off. There we go. 